Oh no, you did not! made it to Lidcombe uh, here in Australia, in Sydney. It's still part of Sydney. It's just like a half hour train ride out. Um, it is actually near where Costco is. So that's where I need to go. I need to go and find Costco. Once again, we're going back. When did I go there? Like day four or something? Basically, the weird thing about filming for today, it's day 82 by the way, the weird thing about filming for today is I have no idea if I'm gonna use this footage or not. I think it just depends on what happens and whether I can make an interesting story out of it or not. I apologize for the very loud road behind me. Anyway, first things first, I want lunch. Lunchtime. Oh no, you did not! I hate you guys. I, I, it was somewhere in my head that it wasn't real, but f you guys, god damn it. I, I, wait, 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 I, I knew Dom was reading bull from the book because he was reading like a palm four cards. I was putting the video together this morning and I was reviewing the footage and it crossed my mind that like if you were pranking me someone would have been laughing but none of you were and you were all serious and the reactions, the reactions seemed genuine. <laughs> 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 So it was like messing with my head so much. <laughs> oh, damn it. That has changed today drastically. Basically, yesterday's video I posted was like the greatest card trick in the world of Dominic Miles performing a trick to me, Ollie, and Caleb, like an impossible Akan over Zoom. And, well, it turns out it's fake. So what just happened then is I got called by Dominic, Caleb, and Ollie. We all jumped on a call spontaneously. I'm in the middle of Lidcombe trying to go to Costco. And they told me that it was a prank indeed. Hello, Mika, the future. Um, we're sorry we pranked you. <laughs> sorry, because that was funny as. Yes. Um. <laughs> it's so good. I am so happy. I am so happy that they actually did that to me. Basically, the thing was, I'd forgotten that I left the room on that call. We were on a video call for like an hour and a half, and I'd left the room for about five minutes to go toilet. So during that five minutes, they had decided to prank me, worked out what they were going to do and then did it once and weren't prepared to do it again until I was like, wait, no, I need to see that again. And then they spent like on the fly, set it up two more times to do it two more times. So the reactions for me are genuine because it felt like genuine magic. Like I had this feeling of like, oh my God, that's a magic trick again, which I don't get that feeling that often because I'm a magician and I know methods and everything and I'm constantly thinking. But that is the one trick that I've been thinking about and I can't think of a method. So I've just like, well, no, it's like, that is insanely impossible. And basically for the last day, Dom and Caleb, who both have the Arthur Buckley's card control book, by the way, they both have that book. I've been asking them to send me pictures of the trick in it because the story goes that as soon as I saw that trick, and as soon as Dominic told me that it was in Arthur Buckley's card control, I bought a PDF out of it on the call. Like, I spent $15 on a PDF during that call, and we had a look at it, and we couldn't find it in there, and Dominic was like, on the fly, like, completely made up. He was like, oh, yeah, no, it's actually, a, like, a different edition of the book, like a first edition and a second edition, and it's only in one of the editions. Um, it's got no title or anything, it's just between these two effects. And all of this, the entire elaborate lie, half of it was made up on the fly because I kept asking questions about it. So I'm so impressed and like so happy that I have friends that go to the effort to do this. Um, and Dominic just told me that when I bought the book, 
he was like, oh no, like in the back of his head, he's like, oh no, he's actually spending money now. Like, I, I feel so bad that he spent money on this book. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's a, it's a good book to be anyway, I think. Blah, blah, blah. I'm happy I bought the book regardless, though. It's a very good book. I still highly recommend it. The trick is not in there. The trick is not in there. The trick is fake. It was set up by Ollie, Caleb, and Dominic. Do not do it. Do not buy the book for that trick, but Arthur Buckley's Card Control is a good trick. <sighs> they got me. They got me good. They actually have a group chat called Prank Mika that they set up to prank me because they were messaging like the numbers and the card value and stuff as we were doing it. The funny thing was when I was editing yesterday's video, I reviewed the footage and I was in the back of my mind that maybe it was a prank. Like it's been in the back of my mind that maybe it was a prank. I literally have messages saying, oh, is this all just one big prank from you guys? And it was in the back of my mind that it was a prank. And I was reviewing the footage and watching the reactions and stuff and all the reactions seemed very, very genuine. And at no point I saw them laughing, but it turns out all three of them at one point or another during the call were off screen, like just the head out of screen, laughing their asses off. Um, Dominic, whenever he started laughing, put the book in front of his face. Oh, one more thing. When I was watching the footage back from that trick, I noticed Ollie had to second deal one card. And it looked like a second deal, and that's what I thought it was. And I asked him about it, and he said it actually wasn't. He said it was just a normal deal, and he didn't know what he was talking about, and continued on with the elaborate lie, which has now been going on for, I think, 36 hours or something? Yeah. And they finally told me just then. All right, perfect. Now I can actually complete the goal of going to Costco. Ooh, coffins. And we have made it inside and I have my new membership card. Woo! Basically the last time we came here, I didn't have an ID with the address on for Australia. So I couldn't get a membership card and uh, I have one now. Perfect. Time to find playing cards. Dun -dun. Beautiful, beautiful amounts of playing cards. That was uh, well planned. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, my camera's just died, but I've stocked up on bicycle cards. Actually, none of them are for me. I'm just getting them for friends, and then gonna send them back to New Zealand because it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying them anywhere else. <laughs> Got a fit of magic trick somewhere in this video, so for day 82 we require a card to be selected. In this case we're going to use the 7 of hearts. We're going to leave that 7 in the middle of the pack, and all you got to do is keep your eyes on it and make sure that I don't touch the deck from this point on. One big deep breath in, and watch carefully. One card from the center of the pack, one card only. That should be the seven of hearts, and that is the trick for day 82. Well, during that Costco trip, all my cameras died, my phone died, and my camera died. So, we are finishing it off here. Thank you, Caleb, Ollie, and Dominic. That was the best prank ever. Honestly, I very much enjoyed that. I'm so glad I was part of it, and I got two great videos out of it. I hope uh, you guys all watching these videos enjoyed them as well. Uh, apologies that that trick isn't actually real, and it is also not in the book, unfortunately. <laughs> of course, once again, this was not set up in any way. I was not aware of this happening. Uh, it is completely all done to me by these guys, so, you know, thanks. All right, that's it for day 82. See you in day 83. Bye.